Republican Utah Governor Spencer Cox has made a bold decision. He won't be casting his vote for Donald Trump in the upcoming presidential election. Instead, he is set to endorse a different candidate, expressing deep concern for Trump, particularly in light of the chaotic events of January 6th. Are you supporting the top of your ticket in November? Are you supporting Donald Trump? Yeah, I, so I, I've, I've said before, I, have, I haven't I have voted for the, the, the top of the ticket um, since 2012. I've certainly had my concerns. One of those is what happened on, on January 6th. I'm, I'm hopeful. Uh, I, I want my party to win. They chose a candidate this this uh, this time around that was not my first choice. Wasn't my choice last time either, but the, the party's spoken and that's 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 who they have chosen. And so um, I, I've said I'm, I'm not going to vote for either presidential candidate this year. I'll write somebody in as I've done in the past, but I am supportive. I, I do want Donald Trump to succeed. I want my party to win. Uh, we desperately need that that the, the right people in the right positions. I'm, I'm very anxious for who he picks as vice president. That's going to make a, a big difference, I think, uh, certainly for me. I, I believe in governors. I think uh, uh, Governor Burgum is an incredible leader. I think he's somebody who could actually help to unite the party and, and lead us into November with President Trump. And that's something we'll be watching very closely if, if an yeah. announcement comes soon, I, I guess, potentially on Monday. Loyalty to core principles and values often outweighs blind allegiance to any political party or figure. Although a Republican, Spencer Cox's choice to withhold his vote from Trump demonstrates a commitment to integrity and ethical standards over mere party loyalty. The importance of upholding the rule of law and accepting responsibility is at the forefront of Cox's stance. His remarks on January 6th emphasize the need to honor democratic values and ensure that actions which threaten the rule of law are not ignored. Moreover, Cox sees the potential for effective leadership in others, particularly in the vice presidential candidate and Governor Doug Burgum. This indicates his longing for a leader capable of unifying and competently governing the party. Cox's stance highlights the internal struggle within the conservative movement, balancing party unity against individual candidate support. His readiness to prioritize the party's success, even if it means rejecting its current candidate, showcases the intricate and often conflicting dynamics of party politics.